Hi everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Miracle Girls. Uh, Miracle Girls is a game that was not released outside of Japan. It's about these two girls right here. Seem pretty happy. Uh, not too much seems to be going wrong in their life, you know. Just enough clouds in the sky. Uh, talking about how they're going to school and how you know everything's great. But oh no, then the disaster music starts up, so I guess not everything is well in the land of the Miracle Girls. So, uh, not 100% sure what the problem is yet. Oh, there's a white light. Okay, so that's a problem. Oh, these guys right here seem to... Well, that was a girl, I think. So, I guess it's just their classmates, really. Their classmates seem to be having been negatively affected by this white light. For some reason, these two girls are just fine. So, I guess that's why they're the Miracle Girls. Not 100% sure why this game was not released outside of Japan. Uh, but, you know what? That's why I'm here to bring it to you. The music's gone back to, you know, some pretty calm, calm, cheerful music, so I guess the girls have kind of just decided, okay, well, we got this, we'll just handle this, it'll be okay. And that's our game right there, so let's just go ahead and hop right in. We're going to be playing a story game. The other options are for mini games that we'll get to later. I'm going to be playing as Mikage, because she's a little bit less lesbianish of the already underlying lesbian tones. But hey, nothing wrong with that. So, let's just hop right in here to World 1. And you have a couple moves. You can jump, and you can throw candy. Now, this game is pretty cutesy, but... I'm not going to say that it's super easy. It's not hard. And it's not like super action oriented. Like, you know, you don't have to be like Daigo Umehara to to beat this game. You know, you don't have to sit and memorize all the enemy patterns and what's going to be coming out ahead of you and like dodging all like these bullets and stuff. Like you could theoretically beat this game on your first go, if you just took it slow and simple and steady. But, it's still a pretty good game. You know, there's nothing wrong with this game, you could say. There's there's nothing that is a buzzkill about this game, you know? Just go go around, throw in some candy at these, at these enemies here. Ah, you rabbit. Now, what's the deal? with these two floating uh, flower things here. Well, the thing is, if you jump on the wrong one, you are just going to fall through. It's a fake flower. That flower is a fraud, the other one. But how do you know which one to jump on? Well, the way you know is when you pick up that thing that puts the other little girl in the bubble there, that I already know is not going to show up that well on on the recording because I'm only recording in 30 FPS so you know it's gonna kind of look kind of weird but that's okay anyways what that girl there does while I play this bonus game that I have no idea what the deal is with it just kind of hit buttons what the deal is is that the girl in the bubble says alright one up ball big what the girl in the bubble does is she calls out a color either oh man I used a special move accidentally yeah get golden Outlines of hearts. Alright. So anyways, what the girl in the bubble does is she yells out a color in Japanese. Which could be a problem if you don't know Japanese. Oh man. Come down! Ah! Oh. Come back down! No! This thing right here, pretty hard to get. I'm not even going to lie about it. Oh! Oh! I'm just going to keep sitting here until I get this, so 
as long as it takes. No! Oh, so hard. There's not even anything up there, which is the worst part. Come on. Oh, forget it. Doesn't even matter. Doesn't matter at all. Oh, so that star right there, kind of like Mario. A little bit of invincibility. And I guess with invincibility, you do kill the enemies. Or maybe you just kind of shoo them away really fast-like. I think we'll probably go with that. Because, uh, I think it fits the tone of the game a little bit better. Oh, no. Okay. Lost controlment of my Miracle Girl for a second. But it's okay. Okay, now this one I think is doable. So we'll go ahead and go for this one. Uh-oh. Yes, only the second try. So it appears that, uh... That five hearts is the maximum amount of health that you can have. Nothing wrong with that. Five hits, I think, should suffice fairly well for purposes of this game. Shouldn't be getting hit too much. And hey, check it out. Uh, found our little buddy here, so... That's good. Now, there is some way that you can help out some little of those blue guys. You know, those blue guys that were, like, doing construction work at the beginning of the level I was throwing candy at. One of them was on a little water spout. I'm not 100% sure what the uh, requirements are for that to happen. It has nothing to do with that one secret area I missed because I've gotten it without going up there before. So, you know, it just sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. But, you know what? I feel like they'll probably get their problems handled. Oh, this little pump. Yeah, get some. So this game right here is pretty treacherous. Yeah. Okay, so basically I got the lead now in this water gun duel I'm having with this bee here, so I'm basically just going to chill, go on the defensive, you know, if he's going to try to peek around the corner and get me like that, I'm just going just to bust him one real good. He doesn't have anything on me, can't really stop me. Oh, that was a good block by him, but I counter block, so it's all good. And he actually lost a point because he got hit by those little roaming water blocks, so that's good for me. And he did again, but you can't go into negatives because there's nothing negative about this game. You know, this is just one of the most calm, calm games ever made, I would have to say. Like, you know, fighting a bee with a water gun. It's true, I'm pretty sure that bees don't like water all that much. But, I mean, hey, check it out. Even though we, you know, beat this bee, he's like, hey, you know, good game, it was fun. Uh, we'll have to play again sometime. Like that little visor he's wearing. And whatnot. But, uh, go ahead and just hit, uh... Hit the next button here. And hey, check it out. I think we saved this guy, so... That's good. Girls are happy. The guy's happy. Oh, that was their teacher, apparently, right here. So this is their teacher. So I guess they saved their teacher. And, uh... Okay. Start with the teacher, I guess. And work your way down to the students. And, uh... That's that. So that was the first level of Miracle Girls, and next time we'll be on Clouds Island. And I'll see you then. So, later.